Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the welterweight bout between Gunnar Nelson versus Takashi Sato. And how this fight right here between Nelson versus Sato is, I think this is probably my favorite fight on the card. Not for, you know, appeal why though this fight will be so great or oh, I'm a fan, super fan of this guy or super fan of this guy or I hate this guy or I hate that guy. It's not the case. I think as far as, you know, money wise right now or like lock wise or anything like that, and somebody said locks aren't really truly existing, and they got a thing to it. Honestly. And I kind of agreed with it. That's why I was like, never heard that really put locks on it, but he would like say, hey, put locks on some fights. So, yeah. But anywho, that's a whole different thing. So, in this case, lock pick Gunnar Nelson here. You're going against Takashi Sato, a one arm fighter. Got like no one big punch. That's about it. You know, he got other skills, but all the danger really comes from that one big punch. You're going in with a karate style, um, high level BJJ player. So high, karate style striker, high level BJJ player, Gunnar Nelson. So you try and fight one strike for one strike with a with a guy like Gunnar Nelson. You got to put combinations against Gunnar Nelson, unless you just that sharp and Takashi Sato ain't that sharp. Yeah. So you know, the one looking for one big punch ain't gonna do it for you, unless you like say you just that dude. You just like some true legit killer dealer, um, sniper out there, and you just got like all I need, all in one shot, one kill. You just do that to everybody at the highest level. And Takashi Sato ain't that. He's a lower tier welterweight, solid talent, but. Just really at this level, this became a lower tier welterweight with grappling issues, wrestling issues, and a one punch fighter. Definitely got some punch, power in that shit. Definitely pretty sharp with it, but against Gunnar Nelson, that's like on this, it's not the best case. And I feel like Gunnar Nelson could easily evade, play at him, draw that shot out, and then duck right out and put him on the ground, um, thaw him out, and then tap him out. I'm thinking second round probably the best bet, but I'm going to say first round with confidence that Gunnar Nelson going to tap him out in the first round. It's too slick, too smooth. I think this is a style matchup that is heavily favors Gunnar Nelson. I think they, he's tailor made for Gunnar Nelson, in my opinion. So, in this fight, I have Gunnar Nelson via first round submission. 